Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on? So today I'm happy to finally say I have my final showcase piece for Idic Beer's Terrain Square competition for 2016. Uh, as you can see, I went for kind of a, a cliffside scenic piece with a kind of a battle on top. Um, yeah, so just like a quick update about everything that I did with this. Um, he had like kind of the cake base on it. It was a big round. Um, silver tray so he wanted this to be more of a circle thing so uh, that was the base for it and uh, then I built up the cliff edges with wood that I had I had to cut them and shape them and everything sand it down um, and then I made the bridge if I zoom in a little bit um, I made the bridge from balsa wood then measured it all out put planks going across put a hole in there just for effects um, and then the water, which what I was most nervous about, um, because I had never done any type of water before. Um, I think it turned out pretty decent. What I did was some polyfiller, um, shaped it into some kind of wave shapes, and um, then I just painted it blue, put a green wash over it to get a kind of a dirty water looky looking effect. A bit more blue over that, and um, bit of PVA glue to just put a little bit of shine of water over it, and then just dry brush some white over it in certain parts to get the wave colours and everything and the effect looking right some actual stones which are painted to look like stones and rocks and um, there's like other little small things here as well but I'll go over them later when I go over the details that I've added and um, obviously the big thing that I've added is the Gorgon coming across the bridge and um, with a little bit of a cliff here which the high hills are on and of course I have the Griffin coming down flying and attacking the Gorgon in mid battle so um, yeah, so some of the details I added is I'm going to start up here actually I think I might have to do it from the back or from this side um, I started with the wizard now originally from the, like you know from the last update I had the kind of the tomb here up on this I gave it a bit of height but I left the other side lacking so what I did was I took the tomb down put it on the other side and I changed this one to the wizard um, and what I did was um, I made this little kind of circle area for him to do his magic and it's made from clay just like I did with the path that you can see in the back there which I've done in a previous video it's made from clay, I shaped it and painted it and made it up and everything so what that does is it puts the wizard casting the spells up on a little bit of a cliff uh, on the gorgon and I've added this little musician here um, I was thinking of what other guys can I add in and I said, of course I'm missing a musician. So I added him in there just to kind of rally the troops and everything. Um, then I have the kind of the fence from the Garden of Moor which I put on. Which I think fitted in pretty nicely. Um, let's have a look at this side. See a lot of this is either glued or really hard blue tacked on. So I can't really take much off it. So I'm kind of turning it around a little bit. So on this side then we have the cobblestone base that I made. Um from clay painted and everything and shaped it with four high elf swordsmen on it uh, marching into battle and then this is the tomb that I have um, that I moved over um, and I actually had to paint this all because I had this for a long time but I never painted it and what I added into it was if you can see in there we'll zoom in I added a little bird that I had from the garden of more kit this little crow which I did paint and I got like his little wings highlighted grey and everything he turned out pretty nice and then most of the wings are in behind the tomb so you can't really see it so you have a little crow just a little feature popping up or popping out there um, and then of course you have the bridge which I wanted I had to do something for the griffin to come across so what I did was I put a flagpole here um, with a blue um, it's a blended colour, it goes from dark blue to light blue, which came out pretty nice. And then on top of it, I have the griffin coming down and uh, attacking the gorgon. So, like, I tried to add, like, lots of little details. Like, uh, like, I had the big terrain piece in my mind, what I wanted. And then just little things, like, I wanted to add. Like here, with the prince summoning the magic. I wanted him to have something magic-y to go with him. So he has this little kind of gold statue of a... I don't know, a dragon or a phoenix or something like that. Just to kind of show like it's a little magical area. 
or wizards can cast. Um, and then onto this side here on the bottom. Um, this is one that this is a little piece I'm wanting to add into every piece from now on. I did it in the first one and I missed the second one and then put it in. But uh, it's a little skeleton signpost. He's pointing the way, and what I wrote on no, I didn't write it on this one. This is written on the first one, pointing to to Edic. You know that's where you're going. Uh, so like I kind of put in the first one, so I said it's kind of a nice little thing to keep it going. And the rest of the videos, then I had a little kind of a bear or a f uh, an animal trap there as well. That's from the ogre's kit that I just snipped up, cleaned and painted. Um, now this is the coolest part I think, well I like it anyway. Down below here you have a dwarf cannon. Um, stuck in the water, it's been buried in there, it's not going to come out anytime soon. And then sticking out of it is a little tiny mouse, a little rat. From a... Uh, if it'll focus in on him, maybe it won't. He's so tiny, he really is a little tiny little piece. Um yeah, maybe it won't. I've had this is this is from the Vermin Lord kit, I think. But you can see what he is there. I had to paint him and stick him in just a little bit so you can see him popping his head out of the cannon. Um and of course it wouldn't be one of my pieces without some sort of scaven uh coming in there. So what I had here was a gutter runner or a night runner. Which is like a scaven assassin guy, and he's glued. What I wanted originally, you can see the piece of wood behind him standing underneath, standing on that underneath the bridge, sneaking his way up. But he was too big; he wouldn't fit on it properly. Like I had the piece of wood on the rock and everything there. So what I did was, since he's like he has the claws and he has the cap and everything behind. Maybe you can't see the cap as much, but he has the cap and everything. Um, let's put him like underneath the bridge, like right underneath it, hanging upside down, sneaking in. So amongst this big massive battle, you can see up here, there is one little sneaky scaven assassin trying to get past everyone unnoticed. Um, oh yeah, the final thing, which I completely forgot about. Let me see if I can get it in on camera. Yeah, I can just about get it there. Is this, I had to, make, had to custom make a banner for the Gorgon. What I had to do was drill a hole in his hand. And I made a banner, but I didn't want to make it like a big banner for the Gorgon. I wanted to make it big enough to look like it's from a chaos camp that he took and he's just running into battle with. So I had to make the banner from clay. I had to shape it, I had to paint it and clean it and do everything. Then I did just like a little chaos symbol on it with little faded tips on it. Uh, to give it the red effect. So that was like custom made as well for the piece. Um, and I think that's it then, really. I really had a lot of fun making this as I do every year but this year I really liked it I thought it was a pretty cool competition to do in a circular piece for a change um, so yeah I'm really proud of it it's going to be going up on display somewhere in my house or in my hobby shed because I'm not going to be taking this apart I like it too much I think it's too cool so hopefully it does well so uh, yeah so best luck to everyone who entered the competition I uh, hope everyone does well I've seen lots of the other pieces that are, like this year is really you have some really nice piece, some really great pieces in it and you know I wish you all the best of luck uh, thanks to Nick for doing the competition um, inside oh shit I, can't, I want to say inside out terrain or inside so, well sponsors I know but you'll see in Nick's video he'll have the name of the sponsor and everything inside leaf terrain I think it is maybe um, so yeah big thank you for that I uh, had fun this year everyone's pieces have been great and I can't wait till next year's one I'm going to start planning ahead already <laughs> So uh, thanks for watching, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave some comments on the final video, let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next video.